I'm the curator of academic programs and Latin American and Caribbean art, and I organize exhibitions, events, and programs, educational programs. Among them, for this February, I'm already working with the Department of uh, Languages and in Spanish and several instructors to receive 500 students in one week. So we work very closely with the university community. What We Leave Behind is an exhibition I recently curated and it will be open until June the 4th, 2023. In this exhibition, the main question is the contemporary diaspora and who has a right to be on the move and who is restricted. The artists in this exhibition are from a variety of places, some of them from Cuba, Puerto Rico and Mexico. Some of the artworks in this exhibition have never been exhibited at the museum before because they are recent acquisitions. Other questions the exhibition examines include who is prompted to be on the move and under what circumstances? And the other one is who is forced to stay and why? What we leave behind is in the present tense. So it's a reference to ongoing issues in our contemporary society. In Spanish, it also works both ways, uh, both in the, in the past as in the present. Lo que dejamos atrás. So again, it's a reference to a recurring issue. And it was also inspired by a contemporary documentary, a film by director Ileana Sosa, uh, in which she discusses personal narrative regarding immigration. As a curator, one of the responsibilities is to work with the available space. So for this exhibition, I had to respond to the site. Inevitably, another show will include more perspectives, different artists and even mixed media. It is always difficult, even painful, to learn about the stories that hinder the mobility of other people who are searching for better futures, better living circumstances. So those, those questions and also uh, the stories, um, hearing the stories that these people have to go through is, is the most challenging aspect of an exhibition that targets those issues. I hope this exhibition opens communication channels where we discuss the circumstances, the challenges, the trauma of those people who are forced to be on the move, of those who leave the known for the unknown, the familiar, their loved ones, their homes, in their search for better presents, realities, and futures. Well, all of the artworks chosen for this exhibition were created after 2000. So that's, you know, the interest in contemporary art, but also many of the artworks here relate to the body in one way or the other, either the present body or the absent body. At the same time, uh, it's a concern with basic human rights. One of the earliest pieces I selected for this exhibition is Mandi Antara by Juan Carlos Alom. And this was a must, a must piece for this exhibition. So um, the other artworks in the exhibition are in relationship to it, but you will also see it in the advertisement and the communications for this particular show. So it's, it's usually there because it was one of the main artworks I had selected for this exhibition.